frightened, Wendy scrambled to her feet. Her eyes went first to Gypsy, who was now standing on the far side of the clearing, obviously poised for flight but unharmed. Then she heard a shout and turned to see the sheriff and her uncle striding into the clearing. What's going on here? Uncle Art. It demanded Uncle Art as Kirk handed Underwood's rifle to the sheriff. For the first time, Wendy noticed that Mr. Underwood was now lying on the ground. Even as she watched, the man struggled to his feet. Give me my gun, he snarled. And that animal tried to kill me. What animal? Uncle Art asked. Gypsy? Wendy looked around and realized that the stallion had disappeared once again. You didn't shoot him, she gasped, limping quickly around the pool to join the others as they came out of the trees. Little Elf grinned at her. That was the only casualty? He said, pointing to a torn place near the top of a nearby pine. The stallion hit him before he could fire. You saw him? Wendy asked. Little Elf nodded. He went by me like a freight train. Where did he come from? How did you find him? Hold it, Sheriff Ramsey said. Just what is going on here? What are you kids doing here? And you, Underwood, what are you doing chasing around this island with a rifle? Those brats are trespassing, Under Underwood said his gray eyes narrowing as he looked around. Not for the first time. They're the ones who've done all the damage here. I want you to order them off. I have three men and a lot of dynamite coming out here in about an hour. And I want these troublemakers off this island. Well, as soon as we catch the Moonstone Stallion, we'll leave, Wendy agreed. Now listen here, Wendy, the sheriff began. There is no such force. Oh, yes, there is. Cheryl broke in. Ask Mr. Underwood. The stallion ran him down because he was trying to shoot Gypsy. Is that true? The sheriff asked, turning to Underwood. The blonde man moved restlessly. There, there was a horse, he admitted grudgingly. A big crazy one charged at me and tried to kill me. He should be shot. Is that true, Wendy? Uncle Art asked. Did you really find the stallion here? Wendy nodded. Well, I found his hiding place, she said quietly, but he's not a killer. I was just about to put a rope on him when she shivered at the memory. When Mr. Underwood came and tried to shoot Gypsy. Where's your horse now? Sheriff Ramsey asked. Kirk shrugged. He ran into the trees. Where did you find him? Cheryl asked. Wendy grinned. Well, Gypsy told me where to look she said. I just didn't listen before. But today, while I was sitting on that fallen tree, she let it trail off and met Mr. Underwood's cold glare. For a moment, he just stood there. Then he turned to the sheriff. If you'll give me my rifle, I'll go back for my crew. Well, what about them? The sheriff waved a hand at Wendy and the rest of the group. Get them off this island before I get back, and I swear I'll have them all arrested. And I'll shoot that blasted horse, too. Mr. Underwood grabbed his rifle, and without a backward glance, stalked off into the trees. Wendy, Uncle Art began, what are you doing here? Wendy looked up at him, feeling guilty. Let me find the stallion first, she said. It won't take Mr. Underwood long to get his men. Oh, Uncle Art, he's such a beautiful horse, and he's not a killer, really. I mean, I was in the cave with him, and... Cave? Gretchen broke in. Well, behind the falls, Wendy said. That's where he was hiding. That's why Gypsy hangs around here all the time. She knew where he was. Well, what do you want to do? Her uncle asked with a sigh of surrender. Well, find him again and get a rope on him, Wendy said. Then we'll have to figure out a way to get him off this island safely away from Mr. Underwood. Once you get him off the island, there are a lot of questions you're going to have to answer. 
Uncle Art warned him. Wendy nodded. I know, she said. And I want to. But right now, she paused and then asked, How did you get here? But when I woke up to a yard full of horses with no gypsy and nimblefoot, what else would I think? He asked. I called the sheriff. And he picked me up on the shore in his boat. We must have landed just behind Underwood. We heard the shouting and then it shot. Wendy closed her eyes, remembering the moment and the terror that had nearly destroyed everything. Then she forced the memories away and opened her eyes. We've got to find the stallion, she said. We've got to get him away before Mr. Underwood comes back. How? Sheriff Ramsey asked. Wendy nibbled at her lip. Well, he's always come to this hideaway, she said, trying to think. Maybe if you all spread out around the island and look for him, he'll come back and I can catch him. Wouldn't it be better if I roped him? Uncle Art asked. We brought a rope, and if he's a big horse and wild... Let me try first, Wendy said, her eyes meeting his. He let me touch him before, and I'll have the oats and gypsy. You just be careful, her uncle cautioned. I don't like to see horses shot, but I'd rather have the beast destroyed than to have one of you children hurt. Is that clear? Wendy nodded, whistled for Gypsy, and leaning on the horse's sturdy back, returned to the fallen log where the rope and the bucket of oats waited. She was still shaking inside from the shock of what had almost happened to the kitty, and once everyone left the clearing, she leaned against the warm reddish-brown shoulder and let her tears wash into Gypsy's rough mane. The filly nuzzled her shoulder, blowing her warm breath into Wendy's dark blonde hair till her sobs changed to giggles. Okay, silly filly, she said. I guess you do get enough baths when you're out here to visit your ghostly friend. But no more, understand? If we're going to take him off the island, you've got to stay away from here from now on. The eyes, one dark, the other blue, regarded her solemnly. Then suddenly, the filly lifted her head and turned to look over her shoulder. Wendy followed her gaze just in time to see the stallion step cautiously out of the tree. Hi, fella, she called. Ready for some more oats? The stallion took a step in her direction, then stopped and turned, his ears snapping back against his head. Wendy caught her breath as the sheriff stepped out, swinging a rope. 